Okay, here we are today. We're going to talk about something that's pretty common, especially on outbuildings and uh, once in a while houses. Okay, um, these are rafter tails. Okay, this is your rafter, just an engineer rafter, or truss rather. And this is what would take place of a rafter, whatever. But this is the tail. <clears throat> so, what it is, this needs fascia. And as you can well see, no nail is ever going to go in this. They're just, just just a powder. This would never hold. Maybe this one. But you can see the next one and so on and a couple of broken ones. And on the other side, a half a dozen of them are just totally broken off like that one in the distance. You can see it like right there. Anyway, <sighs> um, not the greatest thing in the world, but you know, something to fix it. Better than you know having no fascia. Uh, is take a bunch of uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 2x4s, whatever, 2x6s, whatever the rafter in question is, and you go a couple feet back into the roof right here, and then you go ahead and sister them, like you see those right there, and then I'll, when I, you know, nail my fascia back up, I'll have something to nail into. And the reason on something like this fascia is important is because fascia actually uh, lifts the edge of the plywood up and gives the edge of the plywood, the perimeter, especially near the eaves, all its strength to keep from making droops and bends. And at the low spot of the bend, water and capillary action will pull up and rot them out. If you look here, you'll see the end of that plywood right there, the end of that one, and then the edge of that one all rotten out. So I was like, you know, time versus material. I just went ahead and threw them off. And now I have this open area so I can walk the, uh, the edge of the foundation wall and it's accessible. And I'm just going to go ahead and sister these all on here. And some of you who are carpenters like me would also note that I cut all these uh, rafter tails on a chop saw. And why do I do this? Well, not so much on this job, but on most of them, I, uh, I need to make time. Here, I'm here on a weekend. It's a buddy of mine. Um, so I got time. Uh, if you had hundreds and hundreds of these, especially in something rotten like this, the reason you need to make time is because no one's going to pay to let them run wild and then mark and cut every one of them with a power saw. It just, not from a roofing perspective could you do that. You, know, you can't. There's just no way. No way. Uh, and plus, you know, some of the guys I have are, you know, that's not something that what they do. They're shingle guys. They build valleys, you know, with sidewalls, dormers, counter flashing, and I'm, and I'm happy. So... Now you know rafter tails. When they're rotten out like that, it's important that they be repaired. This is something you cannot overlook. Most roofers never bother fixing them. And if they do, they charge big money. But if you want to speed things up, a chop tool is a convenient thing to have. And a nail gun helps too. Um, but don't forget, rate, subscribe, comment. Okay, so we're finished with the rafter tails and resheathing. And we got your fascia up here. And the reason that the rafter tails being solid is so important is because this piece of plywood here rests on the edge of the fascia the whole way down. And right here at the bottom of the eave, it's supported, especially when you have snow loads, it's supported by the fascia. Well, this is the fascia, but there really should always be a subfascia. I get in a debate with that with a lot of people. But this will bear the weight of a snow load here in Maryland at the 38th parallel. So, in Colorado, use a 2x6, man. Anyway, so long story short, that's the reason why it's so important to have rafter tails that, are, that you can nail into and fascia that's solid because it also supports the sheathing. Um, that's only in this type of roof. God knows there are many. And then, with something solid and straight, your drip edge will fit really nice and secure. And then we'll go ahead and weather watch this lower course and then repaper it and start shingling. And there you are. All right, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.